Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kayla. Yeah. So today's video is going to be totally different than what I would normally post about. And I've been promising this video for a while, so here it is. What happened to me over the course of this last year? I am going to do something that's outside of general character for me. About the middle end of the video, I am going to give out my Facebook information, like my real Facebook information. So if you do want to follow me and you haven't found me already, because some people have found me already, uh, just, you know, stay tuned and, and get that information. And uh, I just ask that if you do, don't maybe post about my adventures all over my Facebook. Thank you. All right, so what happened? <laughs> Jeez. So back in, uh, back in December, um, I had fallen. Actually, November I got hurt with my arm. Um, the door slammed into my arm and basically I had to get a surgery on that. And then back in December, I f was walking into the walk-in cooler at Chick-fil-A. I was at Chick-fil-A at the time. And, um, I was walking into the cooler and I didn't realize that on the steps there was lettuce. <laughs> so I think we know where this is going. And I had an iPad in my hand because I was taking orders for drive through And um, yeah, when I went up, grabbed the creamer that they wanted, whatever it was. And on my way down, I just, pew, I busted my butt hard, might I add. So didn't put two and two together. Um, I did go to the doctor that day just because I thought, like, I when I fell, I tried to save myself, so I held on, and I had hurt my arm again. That's the kind of luck I have. So I hurt my arm again, and I went to the doctor, and they basically turned me away, saying that um, I'd already been referred out to an orthopedic, so they had nothing to do with me. Well, I just didn't go back to the doctor. I went to the orthopedic to make sure that my hand was okay with his hair metal plus girl problems. So I went to the orthopedic and she said everything was fine. It was a setback, but it wasn't going to be a problem. And um, nobody else would see me about my back. So a couple weeks go by and suddenly my back starts hurting. I didn't put two and two together and think about it. Honestly, I don't know if it's naive or ignorant. Either way, I didn't think about it. I couldn't figure out why all of a sudden my back was hurting and I couldn't stop it. You know, sometimes, you know, maybe once a month, <laughs> girl problems, my back will hurt a little bit. So I thought maybe it could be that. Um, and then I thought maybe I slept wrong. Uh, I didn't know what was going on, but it progressively got worse throughout the course of time. Anyway, so I was on restriction after restriction after restriction, you no know, bending, lifting, stairs, steps, stoops, all this other crazy mess. And um, finally, I uh, ended up going to the emergency room a couple times because something was wrong with my back. Um, when I got the surgery for my arm in February, I woke up one day. I was It was right after surgery. I was still like on the medication and still sleeping. Tramadol, which is not a pain reliever, just a sleeping medicine. So I woke up from sleeping and suddenly I had shooting pain down my leg, like detrimental type of pain shooting up and down my leg. And I didn't know what was going on. So I was like two months later that I was like, there's a problem. <laughs> I was still working this whole time, my, my dad. And um, I started having to go to the emergency room because my arm was hurting, but my back was hurting at the same time. And it wasn't until my mom mentioned one day, she was like, well, remember you fell off the ladder back in December? And I was like, oh my God. So after my mom reminded me that I had fallen, cause I kind of forgot. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb, but that's a true story. So I fell and uh, she reminded me and I suddenly was like, oh my God, why did I not think of that? Why have I not put two and two together for all of these months? I just thought I did something wrong 
and then I hurt myself but there's nothing that I did because I was on a million restrictions for my arm and I could barely do anything so yeah I ended up in the emergency room again I went through four rounds of steroids four four rounds of steroids and if you know anything about that you know my little face turned into a big a big face so I go open up a claim for workers comp for that situation they didn't believe me they mistreated me at my job they called me a liar the owner of the chick-fil-a that I worked at he actually had the nerve to tell me that I lacked integrity and that he wept for my soul yeah no that happened that's that's a true story I lacked integrity because everybody there was convinced that I just didn't want to do my job and I was a liar so the management they harassed me constantly the other employees made fun of me they harassed me for my restrictions um, it was just it was all around a miserable time and finally I got to the point where I was struggling to take a step just a step like I was taking Tylenol every four to six hours, like probably every four hours, which, sorry, poor liver. I was in so much pain that I, all I had was the Tylenol. So I took Tylenol and I wasn't touching the pain whatsoever. The sciatica pain was, it was increasing and I quit my job in June of this year. And within a week and a half of quitting my job, I could no longer walk, like at all. I was confined to sitting in a recliner. I could no longer sleep in my own bed. I couldn't stand up straight, so I, I walked on an angle like this. Like imagine, these are my feet, my legs, my hips, and there's my back, and there's my head. But I was walking like this. So needless to say, I wasn't able to feed myself I wasn't able to eat unless somebody brought it to me. Um, there were times I had to crawl to the bathroom because I couldn't walk. Um, it was so bad and so dark and depressing and sad and with being confined to a chair and eventually a wheelchair, I ended up in a wheelchair because I, I couldn't, I could not walk, I couldn't crawl, I couldn't do anything. So I ended up in a wheelchair for a certain amount of time. No more walking. I'm confined to a recliner because I can get no relief whatsoever, whether I'm in a bath. Laying down was uh, ridiculously painful. Standing up was insanely painful. I could do nothing and I couldn't even eat. So when somebody would come over to help me, you know, or they would bring me something to eat, I believed that my body had gone into starvation mode at that point because it had been a long enough period of time where I was not eating anything and so every little bit that I did eat I believe just got sort of fat. Four rounds of steroids, numerous different medications, um, it was just bad not being able to get up and go drink water because then I would have to go to the bathroom and that was a horrible ordeal in and of itself. So I finally had the surgery and right before i went to surgery i got on a scale and let me tell you that i cried i weighed 240 pounds yeah so and i said let's address the elephant in the room i'm not calling myself an elephant by any means i'm not there yet but i have gained 40 50 pounds um, I was bigger to start with. I'm 5'10". I'm, you know, pretty thick already, but I was, uh, I was confined and I gained weight and I was miserable and I was depressed and I couldn't stop gaining weight. So here we are. Now I've had surgery. I have been able to walk. I still have a lot of pain. So I'm not able to really work out the way that I would want to. Uh, but even that, like, without getting the right nutrition in my body, I'm not going to be able to lose the weight that I need to get to the point that I'm strong enough to go work out. So, that's my thing. But, I am excited because 
because uh, years ago, I after my son was born, I started, like, my grandma called me and she was like, try this nutrition program. It's going to change your life. And I was like, okay, sure. I gained 60 pounds with my pregnancy. I was chunky. Oh, was I chunky. So I gained all this weight and I couldn't lose it where the dang, like, I, oh, nothing I did. And um, I was so tired and exhausted. And finally my grandma was like, try this. I'm sending it to you. I'm paying for it. Just do it. And I was like, all right, Grandma, thank you. And um, after a couple of days, my, my life completely just flipped. Um, it changed. It changed everything. I was no longer sleeping 15 hours a day. Um, I didn't feel like I wanted to die. My hair was getting thick and healthy. And uh, I was gaining muscle while reducing fat. So I had done the program. I'd lost all of my extra weight. I was at like one... 70 175 like I was I was happy where I was and um, if you guys know I did have gastric bypass so I say 175 but I do have like 30 pounds of extra skin that's what the plastic surgeon said <laughs> anyways so I have some extra skin and if you calculate 175 that puts me in a pretty skinny range but now I am 240 pounds, so we got to do something about that. So this video, I am going to be going back on the program, and I'm so excited. I ordered my stuff on Sunday, and I've been out grocery shopping, so I bought like all these fruits and vegetables and like clean proteins and five cases of water. But yeah starting this program and um i'm gonna make some changes so in case anybody looks at this and then looks at the next video and is like wow did you start doing crack no i'm letting you know ahead of time that i'm going to drop the weight and be happy because a hopeful person believes anything is possible and i am a forever hopeful person except when i thought i was gonna die that was not hopeful but I hope my box came yesterday I'm stupid happy like excited uh, I know that I'm gonna drop this weight and I'm gonna be happy and although weight doesn't indicate who I am as a person what is inside comes outside I preach it all the time so what's inside of you is gonna come outside of you and um, I am not happy <laughs> with, with my weight right now so yeah we're gonna drop some LBs. Um, I got on a scale at a friend of mine's house. Like she has a body comp scale, and it she's like, boom, oh, bro. It said I was forty six percent body fat. No, like let that sink in. Forty six percent body fat. So half of me is fat. <laughs> so. We gotta do something about that. I'm gonna post a picture because I, I believe in accountability. Um, I'm gonna post a picture of that little printout thing that they gave me that shows, you know, how big I am. Um, I had lost weight just being active. So I think right now I'm at like, I don't know, 135, 136, I don't know, I don't know. It's been like a week since I weighed myself, so. Who knows? I'm going to weigh myself. Uh, I'm going to start the program tomorrow. And, um, yeah. Look forward to a happier, thinner, happier, more hopeful Kayla. So, okay. guys, I'm going to insert this clip. <laughs> this is the scary part. I'm going to show you what I look like today. So that somebody can hold me accountable and say, Girl, you are not waiting for the break. Ooh. All right, ready? I may not look chunky from the like shoulders up, but I am. Trust me. All right. So, I have gained so much weight. Like, this is my stomach. Here to here. That is terrible. And you can see, like, I've gained. Let me put my pocket away. I have gained and, like, gone outwards. That doesn't make me happy. And 
my stomach has gotten bigger and my butt's gotten bigger, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I want it back to normal. So, watch for that. So I did say that I was going to do something super, super out there. I'm gonna give you guys my Facebook. I would give my phone number, I would, I would. But, I gotta vet people a little bit, okay? Because if I just gave my phone number out there, could you imagine the calls that I might get? Mm, I don't know. So, if you wanna add me on Facebook, my full name is Kayla Hubbard. Like Mother Hubbard, like old Mother Hubbard, Hubbard, H-U-B-B-A-R-D, Hubbard. And that's where, like, if you want to watch, that's where I'm going to be posting, like, about my journey and um, my road to health, I guess. Um, so, and I'm funnier. I'm funny online, apparently. But, yeah. So, if you want to go follow me on Facebook, send me a friend request. I'm going to open up my requests. Um so that you can add me. You'll see that the picture is me. I'm, I'm me everywhere. I don't hide who I am. So I'm excited. And also, if anybody wants to do this with me, let me know because I'm doing it by myself. My mom is doing it too, but it's it's pretty much just, uh, just me. So if anybody else wanted to do it, you do the same program I'm doing and we could call each other and be best with friends and lose weight and be happy. Okay, we'll look forward to that. I'm gonna put the information down in the description box. Sorry this video was so long and if you're still here, you are the MVP, you probably deserve my number. But send me a message and I'll see. I don't mind texting you guys, I like you, you're cool. My next video is eating with dentures, the hard to eat foods, so corn on the cob, uh, carrots, apples, celery, difficult to eat foods, nuts, no adhesive. All right, so I'll be back. Um, hopefully I'll update on, you know, where I'm at. So look forward to that video. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, find me, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I'm actually posting on Snapchat again. Be proud. Be proud. All right, till next time, loves. Smile bright.